What's your best joke? Do you call a deer with no eyes? Oh, no idea. I've, I've had this on a Christmas cracker. <laughs> you laugh though, I've got yeah, you. Yeah, true. Why are there no aspirin in the jungle? I don't have any idea. Because the parrots ate them all. Would you rather have toes as long as legs or legs as long as toes? You just can't do anything with small legs. Oh, that's really hard. I don't really want either. I just feel like I'd fall over. You'd have to have really long toes, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go for long toes. Maybe really long toes in a kind of like primate way. Maybe you could be like a monkey and like climb up trees and like swing from the runt. What's your most used emoji? Oh, the little, um, the face with the love heart eyes. What is your secret party trick? I'm going to say bat flips. That oh, I, I don't, don't know if do. we've got space in this no, room I, to I do that. No, I don't do. I don't do them. This is my secret. I say I do a bat flip and then everyone's like, oh, okay, you can do a bat And I go to stretch and stuff like that. Look like I'm about to do a bat flip. Okay. But then I'm like, oh, guys, there's no space in the room. I'll, I'll save it for next time. So it's actually a lie? Or you can do them? It is a lie, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let me change that because that is a lie. Uh, I'm going to say I can do a, a really crappy handstand. So I get to about here, like there, and then like I, I get scared and I break. Backflip would be really fun. That is so weird. First I was like, oh, I can backflip. And then he was like, oh, I, I actually off. can't. I just tell people I can backflip. <laughs> I was like, what? I feel like I would have seen, he would have like showed off about it, I think, if he could actually do it. Oh, yeah, I think he only says he can backflip if he's in a small room and he, he can be and like, oh, yeah, but I can't do it now. Oh, I've got no space. That's <laughs> exactly. genius. What's your last fancy dress costume? Uh, you know when you have to dress like as a tube station, basically? Oh, okay. Yeah, so mine was a uh, pimp look -o. So you were dressed as a pimp? Pimp. But yeah. I've got two best friends and uh, we dress up, two of us dress up as like 20s flappers and then my other best friend dressed up as a lampshade. Sounds like a weird band. Yeah, or like play, like a really weird kind of play. So we have like another game. It's this or that, the Innocence Edition. All right. Shape shift or time travel? Time travel. And why? Uh, because I'd like to go back to past uh, experiences and uh, change those embarrassing moments. Time travel. I know I shouldn't say that because the show's about shape shifting. Against everything but your time character travel. is. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but she's not that into it either, to be fair. What would be the first thing you would do if you could time travel? I would go back to like Mary Queen of Scots era Scotland to see what that was all about. Shapeshift would be invisible. Shapeshift. I don't know about invisible. Shapeshift. If you can't see yourself either, that would be really weird. Like imagine sort of looking down and there being nothing there. Like I don't want, not want to be seen. No? Netflix and chill or cinema date? Oh, cinema. I love the cinema. Cinema date which again, I should not say, because I'm employed by Netflix, they're gonna <laughs> fire me. Popcorn or slushy drink? Ooh! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, this is technical. All right, okay, if I'm in the cinema, uh, I, get, I get dehydrated in the cinema, at the same time I'm hungry. Um, I'm gonna go for slush puppy, because I feel like I'm eating the slush slightly. I'm really averse to eating food in the cinema. Oh like, unless it's like a film that I don't want to pay, like I don't need to pay attention to at all. I just, I don't eat in the cinema. I can't imagine getting through it without like a little snack. No, it's just because it annoys me so much when people eat really loudly in cinemas, like when I'm trying to pay attention. Marvel or DC? Marvel. It's gotta be. Just has to be. I'm gonna say DC, if, if that's the one with Wonder Woman. Whatever the one with Wonder Woman is, is my favorite. So what's your funniest or most memorable moment from filming? There's a scene in episode two, me and Johannes, who plays Steiner, were running through the cornfields. Me and him decided to just basically shoot our own movie trailers. So we like literally have like a whole collection of movie trailers, having like just a, a laugh basically. What is this just like on your phone? Yeah, we were just like, okay, cool, let's do Star Wars. And we just tried to do like a Star Wars like scene of the trailer and was like, okay, cool. All right, what, what movie, what other movie should we do? Most memorable's gotta be jumping into the fjord in Norway in October with the entire crew. That was quite fun. Very cold. Very, very cold. So you and Saoirse's characters have like loads of scenes together. What was it like working with her? I think it was just nice the fact that we were both doing a job, uh, our first big job together at the same time in terms of like being newcomers. It takes off the edge the fact that you're able to go through the same experiences and, and also emotions. And, and when I felt overwhelmed, she did too and, and also anxious. So going through this kind of journey and being able to confide in each other was like really cool, you know? And then that helped us, I guess, in terms of collaborating and, and coming up with stuff on set. It was just very nice to have have an ally. We were both going through the sort of same experience. We started from the same place and had the same sort of level of experience and, and so it was uh, it was nice to have someone who found it just as weird as, as I did. So you got like a cheeky sex scene together. <laughs> 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 what was that like to film? Was there any like was there any awkwardness? Oh, God. Or? Nothing nothing cheeky about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, very, very awkward. I need to tell my mum not to watch that episode. That's that the first thing I'm doing. It's just weird. You have like 30 people. No, no, there wasn't 30 people in the room. To be honest, it, they they provide a safe environment. There's only like minimal crew, but at the end of the day, there's a camera in your face and 
you know, we're, we're, we're acting and it's just like, this is way too intimate, you know what I mean? They're never not awkward. I mean, it's just, it's, but it's part of the job, you know, you just get used to doing them and it's very unromantic and unsexy and it's all about like where you put your hand and, you know, where you put your hand and it's weird, but you just get through it, you know? Yeah. There's loads of shape shifting in the series. Mm. If you could swap bodies with anyone for a day, who would it be and why? Uh, I'm going to shift into Trump. I want to know why he's coming up with the tweets he's coming up with. What would be the first thing you do? Stop. Stand down. I'd st <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stand down. Maybe Gandhi. I feel like you'd be very calm if you were Gandhi. I think he seems very chill, light and joy. Yeah, maybe for that inner peace thing. Your character will have gone into another character. What was it like actually filming those scenes? What was the process? It was pretty kind of technically complicated for sure. There's a lot of different kind of technical camera things that they need to, to get right in order to make that work. But I, it was some, um, it was actually just really interesting. You know, it was very collaborative. We had a lot of conversations about what the characters were going through and we would run through the scenes um, with me as June and then other actors would observe and we would talk about it and they would step in as with their version. It was a really fascinating challenge, more so for them than for me. They were really good at acting like your character yes. when they, yeah. So that in itself was, was very cool to see them doing that, to see them transform all of them into like 16 year old girls. One of the best things about the series is it's quite supernatural, but at the same time, it feels quite real. Yeah. Have you ever had any supernatural experiences yourself? Boringly, no. Your first instinct of supernatural stuff is to say no. And I feel like Harry's character, that's thats what Harry does throughout the series. He's, he can't understand what's going on, and that's the turmoil. That's that's the conflict that, you know, he, he struggles to accept June for who she is. And I guess that's the, the overlying message is about trying to accept, you know, yourself and uh, about identity. No, although I wouldn't rule it out if it happened in the future. Do you like believe in ghosts or think that anything like that could be going on? I'm, I think it could. I don't, I don't not believe in it. I'm, uh, I'm on the fence. So I'm gonna... believe it when I see exactly. it kind of thing. Yeah, open-minded, but not too open-minded.